the conscious mind and the unconscious mind are useful psychological labels to help us understand our experience of reality. And at first, on the spiritual path, we start using the conscious mind, which we actually believe ourselves to be, to dive deeper into the unconscious mind and process the conditioning that has accumulated in the mind body. And slowly we begin to understand that our true self is this pure awareness, pure unconditional love that embraces every aspect of our experience. And knowing that it becomes a lot easier to realign the unconscious and the conscious minds with our true self, consciousness itself. In fact, we begin to understand that every experience is not only appearing in consciousness, but it is made of consciousness. And so the conscious and the unconscious mind are made of consciousness. As to what happens to consciousness when we sleep, nothing. <laughs> it remains exactly as it always is. Um, as long as we identify with the mind, we would think that we disappear in deep sleep, that I no longer am in deep sleep, but in fact awareness is just not aware of any objects of experience. So it's exactly the same to consciousness whether we are in the world awake or asleep, because it knows every experience as itself. However, the difference is that when we sleep, it is the dream of our personal, conscious and unconscious minds. And when we are in the world, we are in the collective dream of many conscious and unconscious minds. And both of these are appearing in consciousness and are made of consciousness.